Imani Green went to Jamaica for a family holiday, but also her head teacher said because the warm climate might help the blood disorder from which she suffered. Channel 4 News has learned that her death may have been connected to a Jamaican lottery scam, which has been involved in 500 murders in the last five years. Porrick O'Brien has this report. Amani Green flew to Jamaica for a winter holiday with her mom and sister just after Christmas. On Friday, she was at a cousin's shop in the north of the island. A hooded man walked in and opened fire. Amani was shot in the head and shoulder and died on her way to hospital. The shooting took place in the small rural town of Duncan's on the northern coast of the island. That's where it happened. Why did it happen? The equivalent to the Home Secretary in Jamaica has told Channel 4 News that what happened to Imani was a reprisal for a shooting some months ago. He went on to tell us that that original shooting was connected to a multi-million pound Jamaican-based lottery scam. Peter Bunting says that almost half of violent crimes and murders in this particular part of Jamaica are related to the scam. How does it work? Criminals ring up mainly elderly Americans in the Midwest, telling them they've won the lottery and asking them to pay an advance fee to claim their winnings. One of the oldest telemarketing scams in the book, with a bloody upshot. The initial report that I received from the police um, suge suggested this shooting is, is a reprisal uh, for an earlier shooting a couple months ago, a few months ago, and that that shooting was, the, the motive for it was uh, a lottery scam related dispute. He told us that Jamaican gang members are employed to collect the cash once transferred and that it's at this point things turn violent. How violent? An estimated 500 lottery-related murders in the last five years. How much cash transferred? According to Bunting, about $50 million was wired to Jamaica last year as a result of the scam. Whatever the motives, the bloody outcome in Duncan's Jamaica, an eight-year-old innocent murdered. Three other Jamaican-based members of her family were also shot and are recovering in hospital. This morning, a man's brother, who's in his 20s, spoke to reporters outside the family home in South London. He described his little sister as an extremely brave girl. He spoke about the blood disorder she suffers from, sickle cell anemia, and finished by saying this time round the family had been in two minds about taking the little girl on the trip to Jamaica. Horrock O'Brien reporting.